it's so hard to live out. When Jesus says that those who follow him will never walk in darkness, this is revealing to us the characteristic that Jesus is a permanent light. Understand this for a moment. Jesus shines fully. Jesus does not shine partially. The sun in our world may set every 10 hours, but the light of the Son of God never sets. Let me go further. Jesus Christ does not just shine when you're on a mountaintop. He shines in the valley. Jesus Christ does not just shine when things are going well for you and for me. He shines even in the middle of our worst trial. Now, you would say, Daniel, I get that. Praise God. But it's a whole lot harder to live it out when you're in the middle of that trial, is it not? (laughs) Woo, it's a whole lot harder. Some of you say, I know he's a permanent light. But, man, it's hard to act like it when you don't see the light shining of Jesus because oftentimes we associate the light with the blessings of our world. But what happens when we go through a trial and some of our blessings are taken away? What I believe happens for me and for you is sometimes subconsciously, we buy the lie that Jesus is not shining for us or to us. And that's just real. But I gotta tell you, Jesus is a permanent light. He shines fully. There's no turning him off and on. So I don't know what you're walking through this morning. I don't know what lie the devil is planting in your head, but what I know this, it's very easy to buy the lie that Jesus does not have our best interests at heart when life gets hard. And maybe it's not even for you. Maybe it's your child or your brother or your sister. I don't know who it is. Even when we go through trial, sometimes it's easier, but when we watch a loved one go through trial, when we watch a loved one get sick, when we watch a child choose to live for the lost world and the lost culture and not live for Jesus, it's hard to believe that Jesus is the light to them too, isn't it? I understand for me, I lived a long time away from Jesus Christ and I was lost until I was 21 years old. And I just ran into Mr. Eric Watkins, who I didn't know at the time, but as I was in high school, he would pray with my mom while I was lost in high school. Had no idea who he was, had no idea they were praying. And he came up to me, he told me, Daniel, it's so cool to see you doing your thing now, to see God have a hold of you, because I was praying for you when you weren't living for him. It's like, that's crazy, man. People were praying for me when I was lost. And so let me tell you something. If you have a child that's not living for the Lord, keep praying, because it might be five years down the road. Just keep praying. Don't quit. Please don't quit. (laughs) Amen. As somebody who... People didn't quit on me. I don't know who it is in your life. Maybe you don't need to quit on yourself. But if there's somebody in your life you're discouraged over and you're hurt over and you're really wondering, can you put your hope and trust in Jesus? Let me encourage you. You can. Even when the world looks dark, even when your loved one's lives are dark, Jesus' light is still shining. Jesus' light is not dependent on you. Even though we elevate ourselves like the Pharisees do in this text, we elevate ourselves to a level we don't belong. Even when we ain't living right, Jesus is still shining. He's still on his throne. We can't turn off the light of Jesus Christ. And there's nobody in your life that can turn off the light of Jesus Christ. No matter what enemy you have, no matter what hurt or unforgiveness or bitterness you're walking through or who betrayed you, there's nobody who can take away your hope. They can take away your money. They can take away your clothes. They can take away your house. They might take away your life on this earth, but they can never take away the eternal life that you have. 